They were with young swimmer Cameron Leslie. To get to Beijing, he's had to make some big life changes. Until recently, Cameron Leslie was living with mum and dad in rural Northland. Now he's doing the whole student thing in Auckland, flatting with mates. Cameron was a familiar sight, happily wandering around Whangarei on his stumps. When he hit the teenage years, appearance mattered, so he got these full height prosthetic legs. It's a short trek from his flat to uni. Downhill is good for me, but not so easy for Cameron. This is pretty tough getting around. Some hills here. This one would be pretty tough. It's tough uh, slowing myself down. The best part about life in the city, he's just one of thousands of students. Like in Whangarei, if you wear something weird down the street, you get looked at funny, whereas down here it's just, who cares? Just another face. It's good. So how's your uni going, mate? Not too bad, eh? Yeah? It's apart from all the walking. Cameron's in his first year of a communications degree. Long, full days. So how do you get around that, though? Just hope that over the year it gets easier. <laughs> yeah? You're using a wheelchair, though, sometimes, aren't you? Yeah, every now and then. My stumps are sore, then I'll take a wheelchair to, to course and... Cameron's biggest challenge this year is qualifying for the Beijing Paralympics in the 150 metres individual medley. Cameron has a birth abnormality. His legs and hands didn't form properly. He's been swimming since he was a young boy and has dreamed of competing at the Paralympics, a goal now within reach. Coach pretty much just says it's it's me going to Beijing, so I'm, it's up to me to turn up to training. If I don't want to be there, don't turn up. What's the matter with you? Cameron couldn't hear the beeper. I'll have to do it again. He swum competitively for more than eight years. When he caught the eye of coach Simon Main, things started to kick up a gear. I first met him when he came away on a New Zealand team, and I liked his, his attitude. He responded really well to the instructions that I was giving him and the feedback that I was giving him on his stroke, and he improved greatly. Um, and then I went away with him again on another team. Uh, the same again, he responded every time he goes away on a big meet, he seems to be able to go faster. The move to Auckland, where he shares a flat with three other students, has meant big changes. Been a lot of change, a lot of realising that when you get home from uni, there's not a cooked meal coming, you've got to cook it yourself. Noticing that you don't actually hear much nature noises living in the, living in the city, you don't hear any birds, you don't hear any you know, trees blowing in the wind or anything like that, like up home. Well, it was a long time since I was at uni. My accommodation certainly wasn't this flash, but it's good to see some things never change. The pressure of being an elite athlete means Cameron can't hit the town like the rest of the boys do. <laughs> the bouncers carried him all the way up, I think it was three flights of stairs, and then... Did he actually make it out? Yeah. We're going to hear the stories the next day of how good a night they had the night before, that's the stink part, but... Oh well. The toughest part is trying to explain why you can't go out at night time. <laughs> Just, that's about it really. The toughest part is saying, oh no, no, I've got training in the morning, can't go out. He's focused, and Simon Main says Cameron's making excellent progress. So I want you to try and do those breaststroke arms and really work on that fly kick and try and be powerful with the body. The technique improvements that he's made in the last couple of weeks have been incredible. Um, and he's actually going a lot faster in the training sets, um, you know, by four or five seconds. So that we just have to turn those training sets into, into the real swim. At the International Wheelchair and Amputee Games in Taipei last year, Cameron won this race, performing better than expected. But he'll have to improve his times for Beijing. I've got to take three seconds off one of my races to qualify, which is doable. Achievable. In reality, that's huge. And here's where Cameron must put that resolve and all that training to the test. Attitudes followed Cameron to the British International Disability Swimming Champs in Sheffield, England. It's his last opportunity to meet the tough qualifying standards for Beijing, yeah, set by Paralympics New Zealand. It's day two of the swim meet. Cameron performed as expected on day one. But those races were really just a warm-up for Cameron's key event, 
the 150 metres medley. I got my medley today, which is my main event, so hopefully qualify in that one. How deep is your desire to go to Beijing? It's just the, what the stories I've heard from past Paralympians are how much, how much, how fun it is, and how, how you can never replace what you experience at those. And winning a medal there would just be awesome. You have to really think to yourself that it's happened before it's happened. Really, during that restraint, just saying this is it. As I took him into the marshalling room, he still looked a little bit nervous and he wasn't quite as confident as I would have liked him to be. We've talked about what happens if he doesn't make Beijing. Um, I mean, it is a big improvement. Three seconds it is a big chunk of work to take off. It's a lightning start. Well, I was expecting a PB. I mean, he really has been training hard for the last three months. His pace through the second leg is faster than expected. Down the home straight, he sprints past the field. Cameron's time, a staggering six seconds under his personal best. I knew that there was it was going to be a PB, but I didn't realise he would go six seconds faster. So it's quite amazing. The arms are dead as. That's a six second PB. So you're more than a thousand points on our PNZ scale. Yeah. So that's number one ranking. Amazing. Cameron's now ranked number one in the world. He's shattered, but he's made the team and given his competitors something to think about. Qualify now. Whoa, shaving six seconds off your personal best time, Cameron? That's awesome.